Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Brownlow Books. Uh, I've got Pepperoni with me. Hi. And uh, I guess this is just a series now called Weird Book Shit I See on the Internet and Need to Talk About. Um, <laughs> I was scrolling my groups the other day and I came across a really weird post. It was someone who will only read books more than 500 pages. I mean, wanting to only read longer stories, if that's your preference, is absolutely fine. So it's another one of those things. That's your preference, that's fine. But they made it sound like a moral failing to like shorter books. They're like, anything under 500 pages just like isn't worth it. It doesn't have, you know, anything that a real book needs. They were like, saying that like anything less than 500 isn't a real book it's not of literature value at all and I'm just like we're fucking here again <laughs> we're fucking here again like I said I got no problem if they only want to read books over 500 pages that's their preference but like discounting something entirely because it's under 500 pages it's just stupid it's stupid <laughs> like I don't understand people. Help me. I Help me understand people. I don't want to understand people. <laughs> uh, like, I just recently read a book with like 153 pages or something. And it was fucking delightful. And I've read books that are like 850 pages. And it was fucking delightful. And like, my story graph tells me my average is usually around like 200 to 300. It varies by year. Um... <laughs> And it's obviously skewed by things like graphic novels. Some of like those weird like one-off sh little shorty books that are like mm, top 10 banned books and you're like oh this is like 50 pages let's do it. Anyways yeah like saying there's nothing of value in a book under 500 pages is fucking ridiculous. I was ready to throw fists like what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm so tired of these people that are like, well, I only do this and then explain that like, no one else should do anything that makes them happy. Like if you only want to read 500 pages, fine. You only want to read books that are under 150 pages, fine. You only want to read book series with five plus books in them, fucking fine. <laughs> you know? fucking fine. It's when you start shitting on other people. This is literally just becoming a thing where I'm like, stop fucking up other people's shit. <laughs> How many times could I fucking say this? I feel like I'm doing little, like one of these a month. I could record one of them a day, I'm sure, based on what I fucking see on the internet. But this one stuck out to me in particular. Over 500 pages. Like, I don't want to read horror so I don't read horror. But I'm not gonna say I don't read horror because it has no literary value to it. It's just to scare you. Like, do you, you see how stupid that sounds? Especially if you're someone who likes to read horror. Horror. <laughs> mm. Fucking people. Just fucking people. What is the weirdest fucking thing you've seen said online about books? I I want to hear it. Drop it in the comments. I am fucking ready for what you're ready to tell me in that I am not ready at all and I'm gonna go, what? <laughs> That's it for this time. Drop those comments. I will see you next time.